Lionfish um, is one an invasive species, so in our Caribbean waters it has no natural predators. So that means it eats all of our reef fish and nobody is eating the lionfish. We have a huge lionfish program here, which um, I head up in the division. It really is not selective. It will eat anything that it can fit in its mouth. So when it's young, it eats all the baby fish, all the crustaceans, um, and then as it gets older, it pretty much targets the, the fish, the reef fish. Um, it also has amazing reproductive capabilities. Uh, it reproduces every seven days, producing 15,000 eggs each time. So that means it very quickly outnumbers our local fish. So that reduces fish uh, for protein for local consumption. And then it also reduces uh, the diversity of fish on our reefs for tourism. And it just, it, the whole effect snowballs. It was brought over to the United States, like in the aquarium trade. So it was uh, accidentally released into US waters, um, possibly during one of the hurricanes. Um, for, through an aquarium and then over the past 10 years it has been moving across uh, the seas. This is I think our third step in our control st strategy for Barbados. Um, the first one was awareness and sensitization. Um, the second one was getting everybody culling and the third one is to try and introduce the lionfish as a food fish. Um, because it is a prolific species, it could make a very good sustainable fisheries. So one way to, one, boost local economy and two, um, help the environment would be to actually eat the fish. So what we did is we had a, a full day activity where in the morning divers went out and culled or you know caught as many fish as possible. And then in the afternoon, we had um, chefs from around the island pre uh, prepare the fish and cook it up in a variety of different ways and invited um, locals from around the island and tourists to come in and sample the fish. That's pretty long, I like fourth time we get sick, or like fifth time we get sick with it, so. <laughs> Yeah. So you, you, you know? It, it, it seems like more sticks to get, less pain is. Like first one was pretty pretty cruel, but that one I said it lasts pretty long, 15, 20 minutes. How you treat it? I How you know. treat your person? Because by knowing. Uh, the first one, uh, I did, they didn't know how to treat it, so I just bear the pain. The venom denatures at temperatures over 40 degrees Celsius. So if you ever did get stung, the uh, best way to handle it is to immerse the wound in hot water for over an hour. Um, or by the same token, if you cook the fish with the spines on at high temperatures, the venom would denature. So a lot of people are doing that because it makes an attractive plate. And that um, we really need to just um, keep out there and, and catching this fish and promoting people to eat the fish because it's really tasty and um, it's got a huge environmental bonus attached to it. On this side of the island, to me, I ain't really seeing that volume of, of the lionfish. Like you, you're seeing a few here and there, but then most of the ones you're seeing are relatively small because obviously the people that are buying are willing to buy more good sized fish where you could probably get a nice fillet or something from them. Are you ever going back? Where do you normally traverse with your boat? Mostly on this side of the island, but I've dived basically all over the place already. But like every month or so, I go at Oysins, and I would see quite a, quite a few over there. Most of them I, I, I would bring ashore, or sometimes I'd just leave them and let them something else so eat them. But if they're a good size, I would bring them in. So is it something that you would consider selling? Isn't there money? <laughs> Who you know how to walk money? <laughs>